Paul Rankin's been running restaurants in Belfast for 17 years now with a distinctly international flavour. The food we do here is pretty much sort of modern French brasserie food. Paul's menus combine his French training with more exotic ideas he's picked up while travelling around the world. Get a move on, huh? He won the first star ever to be awarded to a restaurant in Northern Ireland by the Michelin Guide. I think human nature is, is such that we're like magpies. We steal little bits from here and there. You know, you're influenced by, by different countries or travels or spices. But Paul's cooking has a much more local influence as well. His childhood home was in a little fishing port on the east coast of Northern Ireland called Ballywalter. Food growing up for me here was very natural, very wholesome. Lots of good soups and stews and lots and lots of potatoes. I mean, I was so close to the school here that I used to walk home at lunchtime and have a bowl of champ, which is mashed potatoes with spring onions and butter and a little bit of milk. Have a bowl of champ, a glass of milk and go back to school. Fantastic. So what sort of menu does Paul have in mind for this competition? When I'm cooking, I, I always try and bear in mind who I'm cooking for. You know, it's the Queen's 80th birthday. My mum is 75 this year. In a way, I'm so, I sort of feel like I'm cooking for a posher version of my mum. Eat your heart out, Richard Corrigan. Paul's rival has been described as one of the most outstanding culinary talents of a generation. Richard Corrigan is four years younger than Paul and achieved his first Michelin star in London when he was just 31. His reputation's built on a very individual style of cooking, along with a passion for simple, hearty produce. I don't want things to be pretty and, you know, just put it on the plate. We don't put chopped shallots or gherkins on our smoked salmon, you know what I mean? Because why the f would you? You know, we have the best smoked salmon that you can get in the world comes from Northern Ireland, by the way. You know? Richard grew up on a farm and learned to cook locally grown or wild food in the family kitchen. People say, what way do you cook in the restaurant? Well, it stems from the way we lived off our farm as children. It's a very, very simple, you know what I mean? Keep it simple. My mother used to make fresh apple tarts, you know, fresh bread every day. White bread, brown bread, curly bread. I like a sweet white bread with currants in it. Oh, God, who needs cake? Although Richard was born in the Irish Republic, his roots are firmly in the north. Well, the Corrigans originated from the, the plains of Fermanagh. So, you know, my heart, my heart is certainly uh, here in this land and this soil. So that's why I'm representing Northern Ireland. Today, the two chefs in this Northern Irish heat are using all their experience to come up with the perfect British starter. It's the beginning of a week-long battle face-to-face -face across the work surfaces of our great British menu kitchen. Each day, they'll both reveal another part of their four-course menu based on what they think is the best of British food. And both are determined to win. I'm ahead already, Richard. I'm ahead already. Tomorrow, they'll be fighting over the fish course. Oysters for a banquet, though, eh? You're living on the edge there, Richard. Oysters and seaweed.